Thanks to Brilliant for supporting my channel. If you've ever wanted to know whether someone's profile picture was generated using machine learning, there is now a Google Chrome add-on for that. Let's see how it works. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Jordan and I'm a PhD student at MIT who makes videos about artificial intelligence, machine learning, emerging technologies, and PhD life. If that sounds interesting to you, definitely consider subscribing. And if there are other add-ons or things like this that you've come across, definitely let me know in the comments because I'd love to try them out. All right, so this is an add-on called Fake Profile Detector that I believe I came across in an article somewhere. And essentially what it claims to do is tell you whether an image or in this case, a profile photo that you're looking at is a fake photo that was generated using AI. Looking at their description, the overview page, there are actually a decent number of caveats to that statement. Uh, one of the big ones being that the model only works with style GAN images that have been used to generate fake human faces of people who do not really exist, which means that it doesn't actually detect deep fakes because it's not detecting a face swap, it's detecting synthetic media. So that's a really important point off the bat. It does not currently detect video deepfakes or face swaps, cannot currently be used with deepfakes in video or face swaps. So in short, if you're looking to see something similar to the video that I did on people making fake LinkedIn profiles using synthetic generated faces, it's more up that alley than it is developing something that would detect a face swap video that was deep faked into existence. In terms of installation, if you've ever installed a Google Chrome add-on, it's pretty straightforward. It's pretty simple. Um, I will note that the permissions it asks for are a little bit wild, so I will definitely be deleting this as soon as I'm done with this video. But it took two seconds to set up, and now we can test it out on some images. So I'm going to do essentially three experiments here. One's going to be a positive control, one's going to be a negative control, and one's going to be more of an experimental group. In a positive control, we're looking for something that we know should get a positive response. So we know that when I check for a fake profile picture, this should show up as fake. And so because this model has been trained on StyleGAN images, we're going to go over to the This Person Does Not Exist website, which generates StyleGAN fake images of people who don't exist, and see whether or not our model can tell whether this is a real image or not. Ooh, see, this is one that you can look at visually and just be like, no, like what, what is going on down here? I don't, let's see, <laughs> it should know. <laughs> Yes, 100% likelihood. That's good, that's good that that works. Okay, this one's more realistic. There's definitely something weird going on in the eyes here, just like weird light reflections that don't make any sense. But let's see what it thinks. And that's also 100%. So this isn't super surprising, actually, because this is essentially the optimal data to be looking at this model under. This is exactly what it has been designed to detect. And so the fact that it can do that is good in terms of, you know, your product doing the thing that it said that it does, but isn't necessarily super surprising. Now looking at negative results, we're going to look at profile pictures on Twitter. So we can start with mine. It's not fake. And we've got a 100% likelihood that it is a real person. I am a real person on Twitter. That's good to know. But let's look at some other people's profiles. We've got Foreign. Check out his channel, it's very cool. Likely a real person, very good. Let's see who else we've got. We can do Philip, one of my favorite standard people. Also likely a real person, very good. And let's do one last person. Dr. Mike. I saw his show. Very good. Super nice guy. Also, likely a real person. Awesome. So, as you can see, this model can detect images that were generated by StyleGAN and images that were not generated by StyleGAN. So for the experimental group, the first thing that I'm actually going to start with, and no offense to anyone who I happen to pick out of this, but I'm looking for a profile. Here we go that is not of a real person, and I wanna see what it thinks. Likely a real person, okay. So that's an interesting 
piece of information, largely because we want images that were generated by StyleGAN and images that were not generated by StyleGAN. So for the experimental group, the first thing that I'm actually going to start with, and no offense to anyone who I happen to pick out of this, but I'm looking for a profile, here we go, that is not of a real person and I wanna see what it thinks, it thinks. So for our second experiment, I'm going to look at a picture from the Tom Scott deepfake video that I did a year ago, two years ago, time has been weird for the last few years, and see whether or not this model thinks that this is a fake. And this is an experimental because I know that this is fake, I made this, it's fake, but it wasn't generated using StyleGAN. So let's see what it thinks and it thinks that it's real. So as we already knew, this model does not detect deepfakes. The developers who created it explicitly say that. So the point of this video is not to say that they are necessarily marketing this in an inaccurate way. I do think that calling it fake profile detector deepfake is probably misleading people because it doesn't detect deepfakes, it detects synthetic media generated using a StyleGAN model. But if you are interested in seeing whether or not a random profile with a picture that looks like a person is real, it can at least help you rule out whether or not it is a profile that was created using a photo that was generated using StyleGAN. So in short, I would say that this is a pretty specific use case, especially considering that it a doesn't actually detect deepfakes, and B, can't be used on videos, which is arguably when a deepfake detector would actually be the most useful. But if you wanna know whether someone's LinkedIn profile is fake, or if you're getting followed by a spy or somebody on LinkedIn, then this could be a useful tool, because as you can see on websites like this person does not exist, it's pretty easy to access synthetic images of photorealistic human beings these days, and so it's not exactly something that's out of reach for most people. On the other hand, I am definitely looking forward to seeing more tools like this pop up, hopefully ones that actually A, detect deepfakes, and then B, have permissions that don't require read and write access to everything that you do on Chrome, because that's uncomfortable. Because I think that that is something that's going to be, something that crops up more, whether it be something like a deepfake or just looking at digital manipulation of videos. And I think it would definitely be cool to have readily available tools to help people parse that information in real time. In fact, if you're interested in developing your own deepfake detector, but you don't know where to start on a machine learning journey, I would highly recommend checking out Brilliant, who are kindly sponsoring today's video. Brilliant is a visually stimulating and interactive tool for STEM learning built on the principle of active problem solving. They have an ever-growing catalog of courses in math, science, and computer science that are designed to help you gain a deep understanding of STEM topics in a low-pressure environment. In fact, Brilliant has an awesome introduction to neural networks course that will leave you ready to build a neural network yourself once you've finished. And if you're worried you might not have time, don't worry. Their courses are broken down into bite-sized sections so you can learn by doing whenever you have time. To get started for free, go to brilliant.org slash Jordan or click on the link in the description and the first 200 people to sign up using that link will get 20% off the annual premium subscription. If you want to see more of my videos on deepfakes, I'll leave a link up here. You can follow me on all my various socials down here and otherwise I will see you all in the next one. Bye!